Hey dog pound, I'm back. That's right guys, we are back. It's been a little while, but hey, we're back with another episode right here on the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. So today, we got smoked chicken. You with it? Let's get it. All right, guys, so today we're gonna be trying out a new rub to us. Uh, this is a bald buck seasoning, bold taste. My man Buck sent me this rub to try out, so we're gonna try it out for him today. Now today we're gonna be putting it on some chicken, guys. That's right, we're gonna use it on some spatchcock chicken, all right? We're gonna get it on the grill, and we're gonna smoke it up. You know how we do it here in the dog pound, so let's quit talking about it and let's jump right into it. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get this bird prepped, all right? So we're gonna spatchcock this uh, chicken and we're gonna just take our uh, dowel strong knife here and we're just gonna kind of score the back. What I kind of do is just go right down the backbone on both sides with my knife just to cut through the skin. So we're gonna do just like that. And then we're gonna get, get our poultry shears and we're just gonna follow the score marks that we just made to cut this back out. Get it turned around, do the same thing down the other side. So just like that, we got this back cut out of this uh, chicken here. And we're just gonna go along and cut any of this excess stuff like this. We got this excess skin here. We're just gonna go ahead and cut that off. Okay, now that we've got our chicken back cut out of it here, we're just gonna kinda take our knife and cut down into this bone just a little bit. And that just helps us to be able to split this chicken wide open. And what I do is kind of turn it over. And all we're going to do is just press on the breast straight down. And that helps flatten it out. And now we're good to go. Now we cut out this stuff that we're going to get rid of, guys. And it's your choice. You either save it to make some good broth with or throw it away. I typically will save it, throw it in the freezer bag, put it in the freezer and use it when I'm ready. All right, gang. So now that we got this chicken all split open and spatchcocked, it's ready for us to get our seasoning on. And again, we're using this uh, bald buck and this is that bold taste. So we're gonna get some of this put on here. Good even coating. And then we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. And this stuff has a great color and a great flavor to it. Kind of spread the wing open and make sure we get on both sides of the wing. Underneath that breast there. All right guys, so just like that, we got this bird spatchcocked. We got it all seasoned up with our rub here and now. It's time to get it on the grill. So let me show you how I got the grill lit up. All right, so today we're using our Kong from Grilla Grills, and we're also gonna be using B&B &B lump charcoal and post oak wood chunks. First, we got some lump charcoal put into our uh, fire basket there inside the Kong. And then we've gotten our uh, grill gun, and we're gonna go ahead and light up this uh, lump charcoal. Now, once we've got the middle of this pile uh, on fire, we just kinda let it come up to temperature. We're gonna open up our bottom vents wide open and the top vents gonna be wide open. Once we get to about 300 degrees, we're gonna go ahead and pinch down the top vent. I usually go to uh, between zero and one. And I'll also close down the bottom vent and then reopen to just a few holes. At this point, it's got enough air that we're uh, getting oxygen to our coal, so we're gonna add in our post oak wood chunks. Next, we're gonna put our diffuser plate on. And then we're gonna get our grill racks put on. Next, we're gonna close it up and we're gonna let the smoke clear up for us before we get our chicken on. All right, guys, so we're gonna get our bird on. Now, the only thing I did here was I just put my chicken onto a screen that I like to use. And we're just gonna spread the legs back out here. And we're gonna take our seasoning and touch up a little bit. All right, and that's going to do it, guys. We're going to get this thing closed up, and I'll bring you back in a little while. All right, gang. So, hey, we've been rolling along here for uh, roughly a, about an hour or so, 
and we're taking a look here and we're looking pretty good so what we're going to do is we're going to spray down our uh, chicken and we're going to be using my favorite butter spray i like to use this on poultry and uh, also pork ribs so we're going to spray down this entire bird get it nicely coated in this fat it tends to help give a great color to what you're cooking as well as it helps to crisp it up a little bit there and we want some crispy skin on this so we're going to go ahead and coat it down so we're going to get it sprayed now guys and get it closed back up and i'll see you in a little bit all right guys so let's do a recap of what we've done with today's cook now again we're testing out a new to us rub and it's the uh, bald buck seasoning bold taste uh, so again we tried this out on some chicken today and we spatchcock our chicken now spatchcock just means we're cutting the spine out so we used our dow strong knife to score lines down both sides of the spine in which point we came back with our uh, poultry shears and we cut the spine out of this chicken now we came back with our dow strong knife and put a little incision into the back side of the breastbone just so we can flatten that bird out now again if you don't have a uh, Dow Strong Knives, guys, make sure you check the links down there in the description box and go get you one. Uh, go through my link and it'll get you a 10% discount. Now, once we got this chicken spatchcock and we got it flattened out, we applied our bald buck all over this bird. Now, we didn't do anything else with this bird. We didn't use any other seasoning. We're just using this bald buck seasoning today. And so uh, we put that on our bird. We then got our uh, Kamado, our Kong Kamado from Grilla Grills, got it fired up today with some B&B &B lump charcoal. And we used some B&B &B post oak wood chunks for our flavor today. We got the temperature up to roughly 300 degrees. And then we got our bird put onto this uh, onto the grill now after about an hour or so we came back and we uh, applied some more of uh, I can't believe it's not butter to our uh, chicken just because we want to use that to give us a good color and hopefully crisp up that skin for us once we got our temperatures of 165 degrees in the thickest part of the breast and 175 degrees in the thickest part of the thigh we pulled this chicken off to let it rest so now you are caught up with everything that happened with today's cook. So let's go taste this chicken, all right? Let's go. All right, guys, hey, we got our chicken off of the grill here. It's got a great color to it from this rub, man. This uh, bold buck was just, it's got a great flavor straight out of the bottle, and it's got a phenomenal color on the chicken, all right? So we've got our chicken here, and we're gonna go ahead and use our Dow Strong knife here and see if we can get a little bit cut off of here, guys. And I wanna make sure that I get some of this uh, skin because that's where that flavor is gonna be, man. So I wanna make sure I get some of that. All right, so we've got our chicken cut here. And uh, guys, this is what it's looking like. It's looking pretty damn good, if I do say so myself. But before we bite into this, guys, I told you that Buck himself has got a great surprise for the dog pound. What is that surprise? Well, here you go, guys. I'm going to leave his information down in the description box below. But the first 25 of you guys that uh, log on to his site and place an order for uh, a bottle of this rub, you guys are going to get it absolutely free. That's right, absolutely free. The first 25 people to log on to his site, order this bottle and use the uh, discount code dog d-a-w-g gets you a free bottle guys all right all right if you enjoyed what you saw in this video make sure you check out what you got right here and click that subscribe button about to get into this chicken all right cheers excellent guys get some